shouldn't you be with charity? Um, I, I made an excuse to come and talk to you alone. I can't really stay long, though. Right, just long enough to check that I'll be out of your hair once I'm discharged. I've told you that I'm there for you if you need me. Oh, get real, Mackenzie. You know that me carrying your baby could wreck things with you in charity. The further away I go, the happier that you'll be. You've, you've already told me as much. OK. It was a relief when you left. I, I guess... Well, I guess I thought that if I didn't have to see you every day, then, then I wouldn't have to think about any of this. But it's not really... It's not really worked out that way, has it? Right. So you have a conscience. Like, how big deal? We, we both still know what the bottom line is. That's why it's best if I leave. And I've thought about this too, OK? I know being a single mum isn't going to be easy and babies are hard work and it's going to be relying on me and I don't have anyone to rely on, but I'm, I'm just going to have to get used to that. But it is my baby as well. <sighs> which is why I should have been the first person that you called. Right, and what exactly would you have done? Hmm? How would you have explained that to Charity? I don't know, OK? But I would have found some way to help. <sighs> yeah, that is not the answer that I need. I mean, turning up to a hospital with grapes isn't going to help my baby grow up. I want to be there for you, Chloe. And I want you to promise me that the next time this happens, if it happens, that you'll call me. No. Not unless you promise that you won't blame me when Charity finds out that way. Well, we'll worry about that if it happens, OK? I've, I've got to go. You want to be careful what you say, Mackenzie. Otherwise, people are going to actually start thinking that you care. <laughs>